Good morning Year 6 and happy Friday. Now it's Screen Free Friday so we've got a bit of a different challenge for you this week okay so it's not your usual English and maths learning that we're going to be doing today you are going to be working without your laptops without your tablets okay to complete a project for us and we're very excited about this project so our topic as you know is fitness and food frenzy okay and we are setting you the challenge today of designing your very own restaurant or cafe okay and this restaurant or cafe can have the cuisine of your choice okay could be mexican could be indian italian uh, american food it's completely up to you okay or it might be some sort of bakery that you're opening but i don't know how healthy that would be um, but we are setting you the challenge of designing your own restaurant or cafe, okay? And each of us as teachers in year six have got a different challenge or a couple of challenges for you to complete, okay? So keep watching and you'll see what your challenge is like. Right. The first part of your challenge this morning is this, okay? Hopefully you've had a chance to have a think about what sort of cuisine your restaurant or cafe is going to be serving. And we are going to ask you to think now of a name for your restaurant and cafe and come up with a logo um, to show off your name, okay? Because this is going to be what's on your menu, above your restaurant door, to really entice people in. So let me show you what I have done and give you some ideas. So here is my logo. Now you'll see straight away my restaurant is a Mexican restaurant. Mexican is my absolute favourite type of food to eat out and at home actually. Um, so I wanted to really give the idea that it's a fun uh, family friendly place to eat delicious Mexican food. So in my logo first of all I've got a nice little chilli pepper here okay shaking a maraca to instantly tell the person looking at this logo that it's a Mexican restaurant okay and I've chosen really lovely bright bold colours uh, with a fun font okay to represent the Mexican side of things I've popped a little tagline underneath saying fun family fiesta and fiesta uh, means like a party okay so my restaurant fiesta mexicana hopefully would jump out at people in the street on menus flyers as being a really fun family friendly mexican restaurant so if your logo design think carefully about the colors you're using uh, the style, the images that you might want to use to represent the food in your restaurant and have lots of fun. The second part of my challenge for you this morning is to create your own menu, okay? So you're obviously on the front of your menu, have your logo somewhere and then you need to think carefully about what you're going to include on your menu. So I have split my page into a few sections. I've got a starter section at the top here. I've got my mains here and sides at the bottom. You might want to include desserts as well, okay? And drinks, obviously, if you want to. Uh, I've thought carefully about how to design my menu. I've got little Mexican or images that represent Mexico, like sombreros, maracas, Okay, and I thought carefully about the design of my uh, boxes around each section. So my starters, I've got this nice Mexican style pattern. Okay, then I've thought about uh, dishes that would be suitable for everybody. So I've got some vegetarian options. I've got some vegan options. I've got obviously uh, options for people that like a bit of meat. Okay, and I've thought about pricing as well for each of those items in my starter menu. In the mains, I've actually split my main section into three. So I've got fajitas, tortillas and chilies that are on offer in my restaurant. Okay, and I've thought about spices. Okay, so if you're having a Mexican or an Indian restaurant like myself, then you might want to think about uh, what sort of heat you can have in your dishes. You will have to think about prices for each item, okay? And obviously think about who you're aiming your menu at. Is there something for everybody, something for children, something for grown-ups, something that everybody will like? And I've got at the bottom here sides, so some cheaper options. You can have at the side of your dish, okay? 
just to enjoy your meal that little bit more. So there's my menu. I look forward to seeing your menu. And the final part of my challenge for you this morning is to create what your website would look like. Okay, so create a website design this morning. Now, this is mine and I'll talk you through this now. Okay, so obviously at the top, I've got my logo again with the name of my restaurant. That would be the standout thing as you log on to this website. Well, sorry, enter this website. I've got across here, I've put high quality photos scrolling here. I can't put photos in, so I can't do anything on my computer. It's our screen free day. But I would have lovely, really sharp, really good images of food that we would have in the restaurant here. Maybe photos of people enjoying their food in the restaurant. And obviously the main reason people would go onto a website or an app, okay, for a restaurant is to book, okay? So I've made it really or the aim of my website is to get people to book. So I've made it really clear where you can book and there'd be a little tab to click on right at the top for people to book. I've got uh, an area where I'd have a map, okay, and the address of a link to Google Maps so people would know straight away where to find us if it's convenient for them. Um, I've got opening times, obviously important. People need to know when they can come. The menu, I'd have a big... Uh, bold menu tab to click on there and I would have five star reviews hopefully five star reviews to uh, help people help entice people to my restaurant and I would have an option to download our restaurant app also okay so quite simple but I think I've included the main things I'd hope to see on a restaurant website so we've got the logo we've got where you can book we've got some photos where to find the restaurant when it's open, the menu, reviews, and somewhere to download the app, okay? So I will put a little um, Word document on the year six page for you to give you a hint of what you might want to include on your website design, but it should hopefully be something along those lines. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Really excited this morning, good luck. Hi, year six, I have a challenge for you. So what I'd like you to do for your themed restaurant is do a 2D design. I'm gonna show you what I've done to give you a little bit of inspiration and then hopefully you'll be able to do exactly the same for your own. So, as you can see, I have a 2D diagram of my restaurant. It is a surf themed restaurant, beach bar style restaurant. So, as you can see, I'm just gonna zoom into certain areas for you. You've got the entrance here. It's a bridge and a ramp, so for disabled access. You've got your doors here, so entering. Um, it shows you where there's some sand and water on the outsides. You've got some windows um, that you can see where I've put these here on the edge of the buildings. Inside, you can see I've got surfboard tables and I've got little circles to show where the chairs are. It's imagining looking down from it above, so there'd be nothing 3D in there at all. Over the back, you can see here, I've got some coat pegs so people can hang up their coats and they come in. We have some fish tanks to divide the areas up. We've got a welcoming desk here, more tables, uh, another fish tank, another fish tank, another little table there for two, another fish tank to divide, get a bit of privacy, really make that theme of feeling like you're by the sea or at a beach themed surf themed restaurant okay and again you can see on the outside we've got some sand outside the windows some water so it's like a little moat that runs underneath the bridge entrance sand again here we have a delivery road that goes here so you can see there's a delivery lorry there and more windows all on the outside and there's an entrance for the staff and the kitchen and the deliveries to go in there's a bin uh, this is an area for staff, so it's, it divides it from the restaurant. These are all walls, these pink, set, pink areas. You've got a kitchen area here. Again, this is where all the cooking would go and take place. And in this area here, you can see this is where the toilet area is. Again, we've got a door, we've got a wall dividing because we want to keep that well away from the restaurant and where people are eating. And you go down, you've got a little sink. There's the male toilets, there's the female toilets, there's the disabled toilets in the baby changing area. We've got a little sink there. These little boxes here, they are just for where we're drying our hands. And you can see, I've spaced it out 
as best I possibly can and labeled it as clearly as I possibly can. So this is my restaurant and I'd like you to do exactly the same. So hopefully the image of my 2D drawing has helped inspire you on your own themed restaurant. It can be anything you'd like, anything you're interested in and do a 2D diagram of what that would look like. Thinking about how many people you can fit into your restaurant because that will lead us on to our maths challenge which will follow this. Good luck, enjoy and send them in when you've done them guys. Okay, and then we'll have a maths video to have a little go at it. So, following on from our 2D restaurant, now we're going to have a little maths challenge to do with our themed restaurant. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I'd expect you to do and what I'd expect you to produce as an example from me. So, your maths challenge will look a little bit like this. This is my example and I'm going to just talk you through all of it. So, Mr. Warman's example. So, we're going to look at outgoings and we're going to look at our income. So, with any business, obviously, we need to think about how much we're going to spend, how much it's going to cost to run it. So my example is based on my 2D diagram of my restaurant, my themed restaurant. And I'll explain how as we go through. So roughly speaking, I believe that I'd have about eight staff. I'd have, you know, someone at reception. I'd have someone on the bar, a couple of waitresses, a few kitchen staff. So I've roughly said I'll have about eight staff working at any one time. And they'd be on about £9.50 per hour, which is a little bit above minimum wage. So I'd pay a little bit extra. It's up to you how much you pay your staff. But remember, don't pay them too much or too little because you want to make sure that you're making money as well. I'd say anywhere between about £8 and £12 an hour. So if I've got eight staff working at £9.50 an hour, and I'm showing my workings here, £9.50 times eight would give me 76. So I'd be spending £76 per hour just on staff. If I decide to open for 12 um, 12 hours per day, so for example, my opening hours, I want to do 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., then what I would do is have to time 76 by 12, okay? That's how much I'm paying people per hour for 12 hours a day. So 76 times 12, you can see, would give me 152. Oh, whoops, sorry. It's just scrolled up a little bit there quickly. I didn't mean it to do that. So you can see, this is my working out. So I've got 76 times 12. So we've doing two times six and then two times seven. And that gives us the first line. Then you've got your placeholder zero, not forgetting that. And then you're doing one times six and one times seven. You add them together and it gives you a total of 912. So I'm spending 912 pounds a day on staff alone. It's a lot, isn't it? It just shows you how much it takes to run a restaurant. So on top of that, I've estimated that roughly I'd have bills, which is electricity, rent, etc., plus deliveries of food because I need the food to come in so my chefs can make excellent food. And that will cost about £500 per day. So if I take that £500 and the £912 for staff and I add them together, you can see that my total outgoings for the day would be £1,412. Okay. If we go across then and have a look at how much we've got coming in, that's going to be based on how many people you can seat in your restaurant at any one time. So seats in the restaurant for mine were 30. There were 30 seats on my 2D diagram. One hour maximum for the people at a table because it's sort of a diner where you come in, you order, you sit down, you have a drink and food and then you go. It's not somewhere you'd stay for hours and hours. So for example, then, if there's 30 seats and I times that by 12, OK, uh, that would give me a total using my working out again, similarly to how I did before, of 360 people per day as a maximum amount of people that can come through the restaurant doors. As I move down, you can see then I need to think about I've got £1,412 going out. And I need to divide that by 360 people. That shows me that that gives me £3.92. Now, you might use bus stop to work that out. So you might use a different method. But show us your division. And that will give you £3.92 okay, per person just to break even. So you need each person to spend that. So if each customer spends at least £4, then you will make some profit. Now, obviously, you would want them to, to spend more than that on a meal and a drink etc 
and then that's when you'd start seeing your profit. So your maths challenge should look something like this. And as I scroll down, and you'll see on the school website, there is your own outgoings and income. That's how you would split your page if you need this. The example's there. And you can show us what you've got going out and what you've got coming in. Hope that makes sense, Year 6. So you can show us some of your maths and you'll be using multiplication, addition, division, and that will really show us. And then you could show us your potential income um, minus your outgoings and then show us what sort of profit you would make per day. Have fun with it and send it in when you've done it. Thank you very much. OK, so for your next challenge, what we're going to ask you to do is to write and create your own radio advert. OK, I suggest that you listen to the radio for a little bit. Listen out for those adverts. Which ones grab your attention and why? OK, I'm going to play you an example of a radio advert now. OK, what I suggest is just listen to it. OK, think about what features they've used to really persuade the reader or the listener to go and visit that restaurant. OK, and maybe what vocab that you could maybe magpie for today or phrases that you could use for your own restaurants. You're, You're at, at a, a restaurant, restaurant just, just after, after a meal. Uh, the, the bill, bill comes. comes. Sir, here's your bill. Oh my gosh, it's a whopping amount. <gasps> you pass it on to the next person. He. He passes it on he? and on. Why? Nobody likes unpleasant surprises. Well, why should you? With the new Hutt's Delight Meals, you won't get any surprises in your bill. Just pure value. Enjoy your favourites every day, from pizzas, pastas, to sides and drinks. From as low as 14 ringgit per person. Available for dine-in only. So on the school website, you will find a script for a radio advert for an Italian restaurant that uh, can help you with today's task. You will also find some top tips, things like open with a rhetorical question to hook the reader in, give some benefits of the restaurant, give people's opinions, uh, give extra information where they could find out how, more about the restaurant, like a website or a telephone address, and leave the reader really, really wanting to visit your restaurant. Okay. So what you might also like to do today is you might like to create a ditty or some music to go alongside your radio ad. That's completely up to you. OK, just have fun and enjoy yourself. I'm really looking forward to seeing your adverts. Hi, Year 6. I hope you're excited about today's challenge. So I'm now going to set you an extra challenge to do if you have completed your tasks today. So after you've designed your very own restaurant, we would like you to actually create one of your own dishes, make one of your own dishes. This could be a starter, a main or a dessert. Okay, you do need to speak to adults at home to get their permission to do this and you also might need their help. Now, you may not have all the ingredients you need today, so it may be something you would like to do over the weekend or the next week. If you do complete this extra challenge, please send us a photo so we can see what you've been up to in your kitchen. So, good luck today. We hope you have fun with it. Okay, enjoy, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all back in school soon. Goodbye, year six.